Medida is growing pretty, pretty rapidly. And I got talked about in some other videos. Cost of living is going up significantly. Real estate is going up all over the place. They're building subdivisions all over the place. And I think, you know, some of the best deals are going to be had outside of the perimeter, outside of Medida. And this section here that we're in is an area called Tamason North Day. Um, very nice, and, and, and I'm gonna ride around this area a little bit just so you can see what's out here. Um, some parts you won't see much of anything, and then other parts you'll see quite a bit. Um, but it, it's, it's beautiful. You're gonna have a lot more green out here, um, fresh air. It's gonna be a lot less traffic on the roads, less noise, a little bit of everything, and you can certainly get a whole lot more for your money. So I'm gonna pull up a little bit, make some turns so y'all can see what I'm seeing. Definitely a great place to start looking at. I saw this sign here that's pointing here that says green jungle urban development. No, green urban jungle. I'm gonna back up and go by there in a minute, but check this out here on the right. They got some townhouses here. I'm assuming these are townhomes. Very well could just be houses. I think I see one of them up here for sale. I'm gonna grab the picture just to get a number and see. And here's another spot over here. These are, are, are garages in, in front of these things. So each of these are individual residences as well. And this one does not have a gate in front of it yet. Let me get that number. Just curious to what it sell for. See if I can get some pictures of the place. A lot of homes out here in Medida, they'll do pre-sales. Um, you know, you can buy them before they start building on them. You generally can get some pretty good deals and whatnot. What is that? Finca El Rosarito. So, say that's a farm, I guess pretty big property here let me get back to that side like I say I, a lot of it's undeveloped there's some other areas of Timison Norte that's fully developed you definitely gonna need a car out here in this area but just going around the corner like I say, you're gonna see construction all over the place. Five years from now, you won't even recognize it. You probably won't recognize it in three years. Um, I'm gonna just pull up a little more. Like I say, they're building everywhere. Look at that. Don't let, it, don't get it twisted. I mean, there's some very well-to-do families that live out here overwhelming majority of the folks that's living in these houses are, are, are Mexican. Um, people got this wild imagination that U.S. folks from the U.S. are coming here and driving up costs. No. The overwhelming majority of these folks living in these wealthy homes are straight up Mexicans. Many from other parts of Mexico. Um, many have also returned from the United States and moved back to Mexico, et cetera, et cetera. So it look like the road is closed off. I'm gonna turn around. Look like they're building some apartments right here. Come in through a gate, a secure gate. All right, uh, let's get a picture. Hey, if y'all feel like calling them up, that's the number, call them up and see what's up. The number is on WhatsApp, so you can send them a message. Look at that rooftop. Apartment up there. I got a night nice balcony up there. Some more apartments. And we're just pulling up to this green urban jungle development. Curious what they're going to turn that into. How that's going to pan out, but didn't look like this is it out here. more apartments don't 
know how that's going to look. I'm going to pull them up online just to see what it's projected to look like when it's all said and done. Love them cactuses right there. See that? Look like olive berry plants too. These are homes wrapped up behind these walls and gates. And this is very close to Faro Hospital. So it's not very far. Another set of apartments here. Looks like there could be a lot of apartments out here. This is a big old house. Can't see what it looked like, but that roof is any indication. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Good living. So pull up Tamasone Norte Day on your map. Take a look at it. You can come but you can cross back into the Merida side inside of the perimeter. I'm imagining depending on where you're at in Tamasone in under 10 minutes. It's not far at all. Um, you still get to your favorite places. You can get to Central relatively quickly. Anything down there. Still riding around this area, and it's just building literally everywhere. They selling quick too. I mean, as you can see here on this town, on this sign here, they talking about these are the final last two houses over here. They hadn't even built them up yet. They already sold. They already pre-sold. So, um, Enjoy three bedroom driveway, uh, bathroom for visitors, a modern kitchen, service area, family room, dining room, uh, living room, swimming pool, terrace, bathrooms with closet space, all of that. And let me squeeze in over here. And in this area, you know, they're asking for 4 million pesos, starting at 4 million pesos. Like I say, I, I tr trust me, the foreigners ain't, most of them ain't got no car to be living out here. You know what I mean? So the overwhelming majority of folks that are living out here are gonna be uh, Mex locals, uh, Mexicans. A lot of what's, uh, what's happening is a lot of Mexicans are moving from other places. And they just come here and stay here for a couple of months. Don't tell me this is one house. Might be. Good Lord. Oh, dude, that a dead end road yeah, up there. Okay. More development. Still out here in the same area. The further back I go, the more houses I see going up, apartments going up. Even this one, they already sold all the lots. Just two lots left. 6,000 per square meter. Per meter, I guess that what that said. Um, they already sold, man. They, 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 they look like it's gonna be what, six lots? Already sold. More construction. This way.
recognize this place in a few years. So if meditate on your mind and get here early. Start planning. A lot of folks are buying. They know they're retiring out in five years. They're buying in advance, paying it down. Get in. The costs aren't going to do anything more other than continue to go up.